Man, look at that guy. Wow. There's a beautiful cross there. Hey, so I did notice that in my last couple of videos, my truck was making a lot of noise. I mean, sorry, not my truck, but but I did make notice it was making a lot of noises and I figured out what it was. So y'all tell me if it sounds better. To me, I think it really does sound better. These nice little planters. Get the dirt over here. Because as of right now, I don't hear the truck making any kind of clicking noises or anything like that. So that's a good sign so far. Good stuff to put at the booth. Let's see if I can't get those shelves. It's broken. It's broken. Broken. Let's see. So this is part, this is part for the neutral bullet. What is this? Little bags. Sometimes when I sell stuff, I like to throw them in bags like that. these shelves. I'm going to take them just in case because they're pretty clean. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm going to skip over this box. Looks like some, some computer speakers. Not bad. This is too personalized. West family established 2005. So it's a shame because that's real pretty, but I can't use that. The chances of me finding a West family established in 2005, slim to none. Grass clippings. Mm -hmm. 
look at this bag. Let me take this bag. I'll set this down just in case someone sees that driving by, they might pick it up. All right, guys, that's it. These are the little carts that were over there. I don't know what you would use them for, but pick them up anyway. You don't know what these are for? Let me know in the comments because I have no idea. Like this guy just needs to be restrung. Well, that's broken. It's not bad looking time. It's a good looking exercise machine here. This one feels solid. I think we're gonna roll with this one. Put down the gate though. a chance on this guy because it's pretty clean. It's got enough juice to where the power turns on, but we'll take a look at that. A little stable, a little toy or something. We have this guy here. It's like a little doghouse. I think I need this stuff.
Look at the little, little bed in there. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I see that. Got a free sign on here for me. Thank you very much. Oh, can this guy get by? I think he can. Missing some boards as much. Need to make it work. I think we can make it work. Oh my goodness, my stuff's sliding around over here. Fix that up here in a minute. Scrapper comes by, picks all that up because it's good stuff for scrap. I don't know about all this over here, but I like these right here. Might be able to use these at the booth just for decoration. These are very cool. Didn't light. Maybe this one didn't light, but it's a beautiful reef.
just a cool little bluff there. A little dirty, but vintage. University of Texas. I think we're gonna get that one. I've got one Wonder Horse at home. I can't seem to set up, but man, this one's a nice one. But it's missing. It's missing two of the springs. This is the old one though. Oh man, I shouldn't be getting this. I should not be getting this. Oh, it's just too pretty to pass up. Here, I just saw this guy there. That was pure luck. guarantee that all that works. Alright folks, well the trip is through. We had a decent night, I would say. We're going to go through this in the morning. Not a bad trip at all. Alright guys, so as you can see, it's a, it's a good bit of uh, 
of stuff here that we found. I mean, some of the stuff I was surprised. Like, I mean, I mean, I guess I can't be surprised anymore. But this cross right here is beautiful. Made out of wood and iron. It says "Made in Mexico" in the back. Uh, a lot of that Mexican home decor is pretty popular. Found that one there. Um, this wonder, Her wonder horse. Now the wonder horse, I have the uh, the stand. It's just metal frame. It's, the frame is in the back of the truck still. Uh, that little Volkswagen Beetle. This guy here. Well, I only have one hand available, but decent condition. Um, I need to find a power cord that will fit it because it has enough juice to where the horn honks and stuff like that. But it doesn't. It doesn't run. So I need to see if I can charge that battery. Uh, that big flower pot there. It's like a horse stable thing. Might be Melissa and Doug. No, I'm on the bed as Melissa and Doug though. This is a decent little guitar. It's by uh, Fender. It's a little squire, a little kid size. I'm gonna get that restrung. And um, a decent little guitar. This guy. <laughs> this is still in the box. So I probably never even got open. Sesame Street, love to learn Elmo. I'm gonna put comps right here so you can see how much these things are worth. But yeah, this guy's brand new in the trash. Couldn't believe that one. This little guy here, it's cute little jewelry box, little trinket box. Looks like something might have broke here. Yeah, that probably went there. Um, I don't know what this is for. Yeah, this going here. Yeah, it looks like they went on there. Maybe just sat on top like that. Nothing inside. Let's see. Um, the U uh, University of Texas golf bag. It's got to be vintage. It looks kind of old. Let's see what else we got. This guy here. It's obviously a bucket from Adam Bennell. Um, you guys tell me what what's the purpose of this guy though? Because it's unique how it swivels something like this. I'm not sure if it's just a regular bucket. It opens up like maybe you could cut a hole there, but it's never been cut. Definitely vintage. Maybe an antique, I'm not sure. I did test the two lamps. Um, the lamp shades go right on top. I don't see, I can imagine what that looks like, but they both work. They both work. Uh, that step two is like a little art desk or something like that. Kind of hard to see underneath all this stuff. Got these two planters right here. They're like whiskey barrels, uh, cut in half. Uh, small little planters. I didn't test these yet, but I can test them right now. I guess while we're here. Let's see, plug this in. Hold on. Yeah, they definitely work. Those are good there. Um, got this body champ. I don't know, it's like a bike. But it's kind of set up like a like elliptical the way it moves. So this is kind of a oh well, I guess you could change your position. Oh yeah, I guess you could do elliptical, upright or recumbent depends on where you put your footing. Uh, the cable broke on this, so I'm about to splice this up and I'll let you guys know in the comments to see if it works. Everything works as far as you know mechanically. We just got to see if if this little motherboard here will work once I get uh, this fixed up I also had this huge wreath um, that one didn't work I didn't think it would because if you remember that house that we picked it at they already had a replacement up on the wall so I was sure that this wasn't going to work but I'm going to sell it as is I'll see how much they sell for new and then probably mark it down uh, really cheap because we are literally just a few weeks maybe two weeks when I made this video it was about two weeks before Christmas the coffee maker, Mr. Coffee says free. Um, I'm gonna say go. It's it works. Otherwise, they would probably just throw it in the trash. This Honeywell, 
little uh, fan that works. I knew that would work. We found that at the same place that we found those fans. I got the CD rack. I'm gonna keep that because we've, I've been selling a lot of CDs at work at, uh, at the booth here lately. And um, right now I've kind of got CDs not in CDs racks, like in little shelves. So I'll probably utilize utilize that space. I think they're for CDs. You know what? They might be too big for CDs. Those might be for DVDs. So I might have to sell that. We'll see. What else? Okay, so we got these shelves. I'm gonna list these. I don't think they're. I can use them at the booth. Um, it's too short, and I, I want to go higher with shelves. This is too short for me. So I'll probably just list these. I don't know. Get 10, 20 bucks for them maybe. Uh, they are solid wood. Oh yeah, I forgot to get this guy out. Now, someone made a project out of this, which is kind of a shame because these can go for some good money. Looks like the bottom piece broke, but um, the day this is already all, yeah, this might be already all together. We can't even open it anymore. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, I can't open it. No, it's not opening. But this is a like a a vintage um, like an ammo box. It's for M15s. So that's what the military uses. They used to use stuff like that. I like all this picket fencing. Got a, this piece there and a bunch of pieces back over in the back of the truck. What else do we have? I think that's it. Oh no, we got that bag. We do have that bag, and I want to go through it. So. Um, Y'all didn't see me pick this up. Um, I thought this was going to be good, but all it is is just a case that holds uh, glasses, sunglasses or prescription, whichever. And um, I guess for like a traveling salesperson, there's all these little bags. I'll probably keep these bags for jewelry. Can't have use too many of those. You see that? Look for sunglasses or, or regular glasses. Yeah, we're going to go through this bag here together. Shouldn't be too long. I don't think there's too much in here. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I knew if I didn't take this, y'all gonna be yelling at me. Um, it's a bunch of sewing material. Looks like that's all that's in this basket. Sewing material. Instructions for that. Looks like we have some clothing. clothing in here. Why did I get this bag? Maybe because of the clothing? Look at this jacket. Like a robe of some sort. You know I'm gonna check the pockets. Yeah, a lot of times when you find a tack on the cleaners, you're probably not going to find any clothes in there because, I don't know, I might be wrong, but I figured the cleaners would have found it already. That could be wrong. What is this? Made in Portugal. Jay Hilbro. Dang it. Not seeing anything in here. Hmm. South Point. It's kind of a cool jacket. I'm not sure what South Point is, but how that jacket looks. Let's see, anything in here? Nothing. Nothing. Pockets. No, not very eventful, as y'all can see, but you never know. The whole point of bringing these bags home is that you never know what you're going to find. 
All it takes is one bag to have the right stuff in it, man, and it'll it'll make my day, but it'll make a good video for y'all. All right, guys, well, I got a lot of work to do. I got a, as you can see, a lot of pictures to take, uh, room to make in the garage. I'm going to pick in again tonight. I might be going with Chris, I'm not sure yet, but uh, you guys will find out next week. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do guys appreciate uh, the continued support and uh, for you guys hanging out with me this long. I've been doing this now for about three years. Seems like, I think a little bit over three years now. Yeah, about a little bit over three years. And uh, a lot of you guys have been watching me since day one and those, man, I really appreciate y'all. Uh, the new people who are just showing in, uh, go back and watch all my videos. You know, I've got a playlist from just trash picking videos. We can start from day one. And uh, you can see my crappy videos from back then and how much I've progressed over the uh, last three years. So, Father, we just want to thank you. Uh, you're a good God. And, um, and uh, your abundance of love and, and just mercy for us, Lord, uh, is just beyond anything that we deserve. But uh, we're glad that you do love us and that, uh, and that you bless us, Father. And we just want to thank you for all the blessings, Lord, that you do uh, give us. Uh, sometimes we focus too much on the bad. We focus too much on the negative, Lord. Um, but we just place those burdens in your hands, Lord, because you know we know that you're in control. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me to say a prayer for them, Father, so I just want to reach out to them now. Lord, I just ask you that you would just touch those touch those bodies, Lord, that are that are sick. Uh, touch those minds, Father, that, that, need, that need your peace, Lord. And uh, we just ask you that you just watch over all these people. And it's in my name of Jesus Christ that we pray. Amen. All right, guys, till next time. Peace. I don't know whose house this is, but man, these people win. Drive decoration of the year right here. Look at this. <laughs> this is so cool.